batting the first baseman, number 19, Trey Santos. Moving to another city can be tough. You have to meet new friends, get accustomed to the classes, and just be able to find your way around. This has been the life of Trey Santos since 2006 when he and his family made the excursion from Guam to Helena, Alabama. And it was a big change for the Pacific native. I mean, I spent most of my life there, and it's a really small town, you know, and everybody. Um, small island just in the, in the Pacific, and um, it, was, it was just, it was nicer, close-knit culture and stuff like that. It's very family-oriented, so it was a little different coming out here. Since moving to the mainland, Santos has seen some success on the baseball diamond. Whether it be at Pelham High School, Northwest Florida State College, or at the friendly confines of Riddle Pace Field, Santos has always made an impact wherever he goes. And there's one aspect of his game Coach Bobby Pierce really enjoys. I like his passion. It's what I like. He's, uh, like I said, his work ethic comes out in, the, in his passion, and um, he, he just loves the game. He doesn't mind working, and that passion just runs over and spills into other guys and spills into me. However, through all the success, Santos grew up with the love of baseball, and it culminated with one surprise that not many people may know. While it is every player's dream to make it to the NCAA World Series in Omaha, Nebraska, Santos does have a little World Series experience under his belt. It might have been a picture of you in the Little League World Series. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little about that and that experience? Uh, played? I played there in 2005 when I was 12 for Guam, uh, representing Guam. And it was really fun, got to meet a lot of cool people, play with uh, some now professional baseball players. I did see a picture. He's a 12-year-old version of himself. I mean, he looks just exactly the same, big smile on his face, having a blast playing. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I, th I hear his teammates talking about it all the time because we all wanted to play in the Little League World Series, but only very few have really gotten that opportunity. And since he has already completed one dream by playing at Williamsport, his new goal could be right around the corner. College World Series, hands down. That's, that's the new goal. 